Hi, uh, my name is Jablani. I think you know my voice by now, if you have watched some of my videos. So um, I'm doing this video to show you how to run um, ANOVA in Excel. Excel, I don't know how to pronounce it. So remember T-Test, um, we had uh, two groups or two treatment conditions or whatever that you may want to call it. So we can run ANOVA if we have at least two groups. So we have three groups. I don't want to, I didn't want to write which group is this one, which group is this, is this, and which group is this one, or which treatment conditions. Let's say readiness to go back to work after the COVID-19 lockdown. So maybe these are people in KZN and these are in Western Cap and and these are the people in, in, in Limpopo, just give an example. So we want to assess if there is a significant difference between at least two of these groups. So ANOVA doesn't tell us which groups um, are significantly different, but it can tell us that at least two of the groups are different. That is why we proceed to, to, to test, to, uh, for, to, to run post hoc test. And then every time we have a significant difference we also proceed to calculate the effect size. So in Excel, I, I hope and I believe you have activated the data analysis toolpack. So you click on data. I hope it's going to be quick. I'm not sure as it's opening. Are you ready to go back to work after the lockdown? So I'm recording this on the 5th of May. Some of you are back already, but some organizations are still trying to assess if people can go back to work or not, or if students can come back or not, but maybe, and sometimes um, research studies are conducted to, to test or to check if people are ready or not. So for example, in this study, I do apologize, this is a little bit of, I don't know why it's, it is like this. Um, so in this in, in this example, like we have, we have these three groups. So these are the scores, let's say out of 10, are you ready to go back to work? Let's say eight out of 10, six out of 10, seven. But we want, but maybe the argument is that uh, there's no difference. Everyone doesn't want to go back or everyone wants to go back to work. So that is the reason we are running a test like this. So it's not opening. Okay, it's opening now. I do apologize. Um, sometimes these things happen. So uh, this is uh, another single factor. So if those of an independent a variable, a single independent variable. So you click on OK. Uh, let me do it quickly before uh, my, my my laptop is not doing well. So you, you select on the, uh, it's not responding as well. You select on the scores um, uh, like this, uh, including the, uh, the labels. We're going to click on there. So these are the scores that we have. So from 0, 0.5 and 2 onto this shelf and then we i've included the labels meaning that i've included even the names of the groups so if we are testing um, at 0 0.05 meaning that you're leaving five percent chance of committing type one error you can read around that so we are 95 percent confidence that these results are not by chance but anyway and then you click on okay um you can see these are the fine you can before you move uh, further you can uh, right click I want to um, convert um, the scores to two decimal places. Before I do that, you can see this p-value is, is 0 0.0001. When you uh, round off to two decimal places, it's going to be 0 0.00. So that's, that is what happens. Um, and then format cells. Um, it's a little bit delaying. So you see that uh, the Excel right average here, but actually it's the mean, it's the mean score. So this is actually, you can change it. I don't know, I think so, let's do that. And then this is, the count is the number of, of participants in each group. So this is the sum, the total of the values, and this is the mean and this is the variance. But of, what is important is, is if there is a significant difference between at least two of the three groups. So if the p-value is, less than 0 0.05, meaning that this is, there's a significant difference between at least two of the, of the, of the conditions. We can also proceed to delete this so that it looks uh, quite, quite good. 
So if you do it manually, you're going to get the same scores. These are the degrees of freedom, meaning K minus one, K the number of groups or treatments, and, um, and, and this one, N, the number of, of, of the participants in all the groups. So 21 minus the number of, 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 of groups. And then if you add this, you can get this, this N minus one. And then manual calculations, you calculate the sum of squares and, but this is in Excel, so you don't need to worry about that. So in manual calculations, you obtain the F or F obtained and then you compare with the F-crypt. So the F-crypt, that one that we have used the degrees of freedom to obtain. So if, if the F obtained is greater than the F-crypt, you reject the null hypothesis. I think you know that. But what is important here for us is that there is a significant difference. But now, like what I said earlier, uh, ANOVA doesn't tell us um, which of the three. Are they all significant different from each other? or you don't have to highlight, I'm just highlighting so that it becomes um, clear for you. Let me just move this so that you see what is there. So SPSS also uh, provides with almost the same table, but they're just different companies. Okay, that one is IBM, this one is Microsoft. So, so when, when you have a significant uh, difference, we proceed to calculate the effect size. So the effect size, the formula for that is the SS. Let me try to type if, I, if it doesn't disappoint me. It's not responding. Uh, it's SS between divided by by SS total. So that is the um, the effect size. So it's, it's variance accounted for. So it can, it can be expressed as a percentage or it's a task squared, so you express it as a decimal, in decimal format. So meaning that I'm not going to do that. Uh, so it means um, uh, this 44.10 divided by 82.95. So that is the effect size. And then also for us to determine which of the three is actually different. So the, the mostly used is Turkey's um, HSD, honestly significant difference. I like the honestly with them. So the, the question for that is, is, is the Q, um, in a, it's Q, Q multiplied by, so the Q, this Q. Uh, and then in, in, a, in a square root, the, the MS um, uh, within, so the 2.16 divided by the number of, of participants in each group. So if you complete that, you will see uh, that, 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 um, that, that value that I'm talking about. So the difference you can be able to determine, uh, let's say for example, the, 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 the techie SHD is 2.5, let's say is 2.5. So what it, what it means that for, for for, for any two for any two groups to be significant significantly different from each other the, the difference should be greater than 2.5 so for example seven minus four that is three so those two groups are significantly different from each other and then also uh, seven minus 3.86 is, is it greater yes no it's not three four yes it is so it's greater than 2.5. But if we take group two and group three, they're not significantly different from each other because if we subtract four from, uh, if we subtract 3.85 from four, it's, it's, it's less than 2.5. So that's what it tells us. So that that is um, an over. So for, for reporting, you can proceed and check how you can uh, do it. But actually, if you want to include in your paper, you can just copy uh, this output and right click, copy and paste in a Microsoft Word document. So I, I hope uh, this is um, uh, helping. I wish you the best in whatever you do. Um, I hope it, it applies to you in whatever that you are doing, if you're doing honors or maybe third year. So yeah, keep well.